Now that we've completed our field pre-start setup, we need to physically start our planner and prepare for operation. The first thing we need to do is engage our hydraulic remotes on our tractor. Next, inside of the universal terminal and the planter, we need to press and hold our planter system start button located on page one. When I press and hold, this will activate all planter systems. As you can see, my vacuum, my bulk fill, and my alternator all begin to run. However, with planter system start, the liquid fertilizer system did not start. We don't know if you have fertilizer in the tank or if you're going to be utilizing fertilizer, so we make you activate that function manually. You'll also notice on some of the other pages of the universal terminal and the planter, my compressor is on and engaged. If I had wing downforce, it would be on and engaged. My planter is prepared for field operation. At this time, I can lower my planter and begin to plant. When I lower my planter to the ground to begin planting, I have two different means to monitor my performance. First, within the universal terminal and the planter, I have multiple pages that I can watch, which include population graphs, graphs that identify my performance of my downforce system, and many other metrics. It's important to note that some of these are fully interactive with circular arrows in the upper right, as well as the ability to click into graphs, zoom into a section, click into a row to zoom into a row. I can arrow up to a section. I can arrow back up to my full planter. I also have the ability to monitor the performance of my planter to some extent on my other run screens of the Pro 1200. In our example, I have one that's pre-labeled as plant. Within this tab labeled plant, I have our larger seed graph that identifies my planting performance while I'm in field. Again, this graph is fully interactive to allow me to look at different metrics. And it also allows me to zoom into sections or zoom into rows to evaluate planting performance. You'll find many other windows that I can utilize within these other run screens to be able to monitor planter performance. I have my mapping performance that I can monitor, which includes one full map or the ability to split planter map and monitor two mapping functions at the same time. And finally, I have the ability to control my liquid fertilizer and my seeding rates while I'm in field. If you recall, we had assigned the AS123 seeding product to what we are doing in the field right now. That product had pre-assigned rates of 30,000 seeds per acre and 32,000 seeds per acre. I can switch between those two pre-assigned rates by selecting rate one or rate two. I can also manually increase the rate as I desire by clicking the plus and minus. Similarly with my liquid fertilizer, I can switch between rate one and rate two or manually adjust by half a gallon per acre. Many windows also are expansive with this icon in the upper right which allows me to click and expand that window to a larger view for further operation. When I'm complete, I can retract that window back to its normal position. Once I have finished the field and I'm complete with planting, I reaccess the universal terminal with the planter and page one, which allows me to stop my planter in all planting systems. When I press and hold, you'll see all functional systems turn off except for the alternator. When I deactivate my hydraulic remotes, my alternator also stops.
Once all of my functional systems have stopped, I have the ability to fold my planter. Once my planter is folded, I can set my frame to off mode and I can drive to my next field to repeat the process.